Good afternoon people, PJT and the infamous and lovely M. Oh, thank you. Now she's shocked. So, as you'll know from the thumbnail, we're doing a blade review. We're sat more at the, this bar because it's a bit messy down there because I've got traps and it's a long story. <laughs> it's in a mess. <laughs> you you trapped me in. She locked me in the bar. I couldn't get out so I had to escape out the door and move everything. So yeah, long, sto <laughs> long story anyway. So what I'll do, I've got the glass here, as you can see, I've had it in the fridge. I'll go and pour the pint. Um, it's nearing the end of the keg, so we should get a real good one. Obviously, the one concern of this was it was another one that they've yeah, effed they about with. It. it was originally 5.3 on our original review, which was about 28 months ago. And it's now 5.1. You could say, I argue that's only 0.2, but it's another, you know, Heineken, AB and Bev. They're real good at this sort of stuff. Um, it begs the point of, yeah, well, I'm buying it, so that makes me hypocritical as well. But it was one of my favourites. I must admit, this was one of my top 10. And I always wanted to try it again. And I've got to say, this is one that you've always really liked. I find it's I really almost pleasant. kept a blade for this before when I, well, no, this one. But I'll go and Gavel up, model and gavel on and get pull. Here we go. Trust me, everyone, I'm an expert. And I can pour a dodgy one. <laughs> I was just wondering that if you're going to pour it well after saying all that. I'm all right, I can pour a brilliant one. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's going to have a fairly big head on it. Yeah, I know. Just no. That comes of when you get confident and cocky and... But yeah, the first thing I would say, apart from the exclusive four finger head, they do that in Germany though half the time, don't they? So, it's a good looking beer, isn't it? It is a very handsome looking beer. You've got that lovely um, golden colour to it and a real wonderful haze going the whole way through. It is, it, it's a lovely beer, you know, I mean, you look at, this is obviously the the 5.1 one, you remember you've got the 4.9 one as well, and they're very similar drinks, um, especially now in, although they claim it's wet, made with different water, I don't believe half of what um, Heineken and AB and Bev say in a way, you know, <laughs> and look at that, now that ends up a half decent pour, you see, you've just got to wait a minute. Just need to settle down a little bit. But yeah, as I say, it was my favourite keg on the blade, without a doubt, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, the last two times around, hence having the glass and everything. And we've even got a tap handle for that. Yeah. Saying yeah. that somewhere. So, what can we say? As I say, it's dropped down to 5.1. We did get this on offer, because it was a short dated keg, but to be honest, they only knocked a little bit off, but you know, it makes it a little bit better than the 40 pounds, the 40 pound mark for these kegs, especially just at 5%, you yeah, know, you've got to remember, expensive. you're not getting back um, your, your 5% in tokens like you do a perfect draft, you're not getting your keg return like you do a perfect draft. And people seem to, to, to miss that bit out. They look at the, the prices, and one thing when you're comparing them, we're doing a comparable video this week, mm -hmm. uh, next week, sorry, it'll be this week by the time this goes on the air. Anyway, we're doing a comparable <laughs> video again because it's over year, two years of uh, perfect draft and blade. But the thing is to know about it, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, yeah as I say, I mean, sh dates don't mean nothing most of the time, do they? Yeah, I, I find that, especially when it's just a little bit over, it doesn't yeah, make a lot of sense to them. Absolutely spot on. So, you can now do your ponder and have a... Have a smell. Have a smell, as the pondering man would say. Yeah, it's everything you expect. Yeah, you just get your, your wheaty yeast, and you see your maltiness. You don't even need to, do you? Your clove, your bananas. Obviously, you don't get coriander. With this one, it is quite a ripe banana smell as well. Yeah, it's, I, don't know what I'm I do agree in some ways with Mark, but then you proved the point about something that <laughs> totally <laughs> goes the other way. But yeah, yeah, go on, I mean, go on first. As I say, it is what it is. I've been drinking this keg. I've been meaning to put this through this review for three days as I've been messing about with Franz Kainar and this. 
But it's smooth. I do like this. Yeah. It is good quality beer. But I just feel that it's lost its bite. It's lovely. Don't get me wrong. It absolutely throws down. It's smooth. It's creamy. From start to finish, your mouthful. That has come out lovely and cold. I have to yeah. give it to the blade. That it really is a very good temperature. Um, and we, as I was say, we put the glass in the fridge as well. As you say, there's a nice mild carbonation on there, which helps with that really smooth mouthful that you get. It, it runs through and it is quality. You know, this for me is one of Austria's finest. I mean, people always go on about German, Germany with, with, with your bison beer. Yeah, I get that. But let's not forget Aus Austria. Austria pull out some decent beers. And this is one of them, you know. Um, I, as I say, I do feel, I don't know, is it in your head? Because it's dropped that point too, but it's not quite the same. You know, it because really you know. It really, uh, for me, I'm not sure that I would be able to tell the difference. Um, yeah, but you know that they've dropped the percentage, so it's yeah, annoying. Yeah, it could be. It could yeah. be that kind of And it is in, it, it's in your head, isn't it? Because you, you know that that's the case, you're thinking it. For me, I, I don't feel it's lost a lot. Um, no, and like I say, it's come out at two degrees. Now, most people are going to say, two degrees is too cold for a bison beer. It's not, this is how half the time used to get sold bison beer years ago. You used to get right. ho Hogarth and ice cold. They make ice cold Hogarth glasses. In this type of weather, and it is actually warm today, yes, which lovely. is nice. Um, I like the drinks to start off cold because they do warm up very quickly. You do get that range of flavours coming through over the course of the pint. Yeah, that really is very pleasant. It is pleasant. It's smooth. It's creamy. But... There is a slight sweetness there, which I feel comes from that kind of ripe banana taste, but it's not overly sweet and it feels very natural, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they say, it's the other one, they say about the, the waters where it's made in the Alps and everything, and I get that, but for me, I remember I was messing about with that mm. and Frankie yesterday, for me, it doesn't stand up to, to the Frankie on, on draft, and that's mm. how I feel. I don't know whether it's where... That point two dropped out. Maybe fans kind of will be four point eight next year. You never know, do you, the way it's going. You never know. Nothing's untouchable. Not. <laughs> Nothing's untouchable on the beer scene. But as I say, I think if you put, if you put them head to head, which I may well do, yeah, mm. I think that this is on a shortfall. And remember, the Frankie's weaker. The Frankie's only five percent. But I mean, I've always been a fans kind of fan. Obviously, I named my bar after it. I, I actually thought it was that good. But taking nothing away from that, that's that's a great beer. Um, it, it's still complex and it's still got it, you know. It's still a great one um, on the blade. And for me, would that still be my favourite keg? I like the singer as well, don't I? There's a little bit of citrus to this as well. It's, it's, it's it's it is subtle. Not, not but I, am, I am picking up a, a slightly citrusy. I mean, we enjoyed, the, we enjoyed the Heineken, you know, and I've never been a, a huge fan of Heineken. Unless it's really somewhere nice and clean, but it's it done well. But for me, are we going to rate it? Yeah, I'm going to give it a rating. Yeah, we can give it a rating. Oh, I've got to go. I do I'm like this. It a rate. I'm so I'm <laughs> it's, I do like it. I'd have to say a strong eight, more than eight, more on eight point five if I was going down to point five. Very right. smooth. Uh, it's got a nice body to it. it. It feels nice in your mouth. It's um, quality. Yeah, and some good place. That's what it's yeah. all about. So, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Let us know any comments, any feedback, positive or negative. Yeah. I don't mind. Let us know what you think. Bonjour. Mm -hmm.